so welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is going to be a story time on how i nearly got sent to basically a young lady's penitentiary penitentiary so if you're new to my channel subscribe and like the video wait wait what was it jesus christ <laughs> Okay, so one day I was at school and I was with my friends, so it was lunch time. So we before we get time to eat, we was just like walking around the school a little bit. So then I see popcorn under the canopy. So it was like let me get popcorn. So like we get like no, it was long but not really long, but we still had to wait if you want something mean free. So I was staring, right? At this girl, we're gonna call she Skittles. I was staring at this. Well, I was, I don't even know if I was staring at she or not, but I was looking in her direction, right? And she probably thought that I was staring, she don't look in a bad way or saying, but it wasn't thing, so it was just staring, anyways. So she like she got offended and she just started blowing up in the light. <laughs> Like she was just blowing up for no reason and just doing the most so I was just like in the need for all that because it really was not that deep anyway so past that we got in the classroom now and we sing though me and my friends and the first bell ring to end off lunch so she and she posse come by the door I was just doing the most and it was just like what y'all doing oh they said for because it really was not necessary because i didn't mean anything bad by staring at her or i probably wasn't even staring at she was just probably looking in her direction but not looking at her so i was doing the most and her saying that after school days and after school that and she told me something something that had triggered me that made me tell myself all right cool we can get into that but before that she had she and she friends or whatever was like after school day and after school that because no it didn't no it didn't anyways so after school nothing ain't happened so the next day I know I was like I, I, I really can't remember what it is that she told me that when me tell myself alright well we gonna fight tomorrow same but I ain't never in school night so she was like no the next day i didn't see her i think i can't recall if i had to see or not but it wasn't enough vibe nor it if i did i can't remember but right so instead of fighting with skittles i ended up fighting with somebody else so i had already been school the mentality to fight because guys how it just that's just just the type of energy that i had so i had my period no right so i can't remember if i had get put out of the math class or if he just didn't get there yet so i was going to the bathroom though regardless and we gonna call this boy noodles so noodles no pass and brush me and because like i have already feel like fighting like i just turned around and started fighting with you and we was fighting you no know, and like i was just like like the fight paused and like i was so angry that i just went and snatched up my bike and the same time the grandma was and the grandma was passing so he he had seen when i had went to my bike not went to my bike but like when they snatched up my bike and he like figured he told himself what are you you know she snatched she back, she probably getting she back the same. So, and plus two, I was shouting and cursing and doing more. So, he was like, let me see what in your bag. So, I was like, in and in my bag. And just basically talking so that he don't go in my bag. So, then no, I ended up like, getting his bag now. And, like, he tackled everything I was in my bag. Because then it was at the bottom, bottom of my bag. So, 
he tackled the next no and he was like basically saying oh this is what you was going for so then he like asked me to the principal office and the principal was just like basically he was just trying to see my face so he was like all right and he bring me in the office the school was so nearly done too because I remember when the bell rang and it was still in the office so they saying um that I, that he getting reports from me and they didn't rule the teachers and etc etc so just get on the whole line and eventually he told me that my mother gonna come out of the school tomorrow so I was like alright cool left school no gone home I call my mother mommy um I can't school at night and the principal say that they have to come up to the school tomorrow and she was like we can't school and I felt I said basically I was just trying to defend myself but I ended up not fighting with the person I was supposed to fight with so that's just how that happened so the next day come now and she come up with the school so we were just there by the guard hood waiting for the principal like just call me into the office for me to talk and see what's really about to happen so boom so then we get called to the office finally and like when we get called to the office we still had to be so then it was, I see like a police jeep pull up in the car park so I was like oh so, right so then like we get we get into the office now and he was basically saying, he was basically telling my mother, he said that he told me the day before, but my attitude and teachers complaining for me, and she was just basically defending me as she should, saying that my child was like, well, my child was defending herself because I think I had had, like, a problem with the same girl skills before, and I think that them had known, but they didn't do nothing about it, so my mother was saying that, um, Basically, them is don't want to do nothing to like saying like that happened like we're in school at night for somebody bleeding or saying like that. So that's basically what my mother was telling me, and he was just being a principal, of course, and not trying to understand what she was saying. So then he was just like that. I didn't go to any police jeep, I didn't go to the police station because then go work them. I didn't go work them, and he get them like the book that is going to like report on how what child is be doing at school basically so right and oh yeah i forget to mention that my stepfather was there too because he was in the office with my mother too as well so then like the principal and again the police you know the book or paper or whatever it was and me and my mother gained the police chief so we was leaving the school now and he was just basically saying that oh I don't want that summer bill because then a good place for girls like me and I might not just be I might not be that way but you know how children is at school and you know how school is so yeah and he was just he was just talking he police saw and it was I really wasn't listening because it's like I just want to go to the police station and do what I got to do and get this over with because I'm thinking that I probably going back to school or even just get saying home and that's just going to be it. Right, so we get to the police station now and like I had to like I, I think I went to a woman and the woman like take the knife because the principal I give the police the knife so she had a knife and she had a tape and she had a written down my name on it. I think the like, age. I think she wrote down the year or two and it did. But anyways, that's besides the point. That's what she do and then like I don't know she went to she went out to the room and she was talking to the police people that they bring me to the police station. And for some reason she just come back and was talking about signing papers at Somerville and it was just they confused like and she was like um that something but not going back to school and uh i'm gonna be going up some of them and that that's what they paid first for because she was reading the reports on me and it wasn't looking good and i thought 
confidence, all the time for being able to teachers and et cetera, et cetera. So I was just like, whoa, like just there, like, whoa, like I'm ready to go there, like home to me, like just so like it was just barely a little knife being I stopped the boy in her name, like home to me. So they know my mother and I call him my stepfather and he come up there and he told them basically was reasoning it with them like alright we gonna just talk to she we gonna make sure that she don't do this again and if she got go from probation if that was a choice she could do that but she don't need to get there because we gonna work on she be there etc so I just like that they was just cool with it it's like they were just trying to further me or something because first when I come talking about sending paper down the money was certain they just get this paper signed and the first trip up there is where you going and then when my stepfather come and just was like reasoning with it and was just like alright like we gonna get you another chance like I was so confused about that but yeah and then after that then just I think I had a good confirmation for real but nevertheless at least I didn't get to go up there I don't know what there looks like so yeah that was basically my story on how I nearly went to fear um, I hope that you like this video like comment share subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye